Hello and welcome to the new tutorial about the Sandbox. The first plugin that was done is a collaboration between D-plugins and the Joshua, the maker of the famous Oxyrealm for selling design kits. First, let me take you through the setup that I have. As you can see, I have the Oxygen 3.7.1, as that is the currently latest stable version, and I have the Swiss knife that is the plugin that I first install after I install the oxygen. For the design, I have used pre-made design set from the oxygen just to showcase something. You can grab the sandbox from the D plugins website and the plugin is for free. But uh, let's clarify what is the sandbox. It is the plugin that you can isolate all oxygen edits and save it separately. This is useful, for example, if you have online shop and you must work directly on the website as the new sales are coming in and you cannot transfer them separately. Or if you want to have some changes for your client and you don't want to have multiple installation of your work and you work directly on his live website, but you don't want that other users see those changes until they are approved. So let's start with the sandbox installation and I will show you on the way what they mean by that. I have already downloaded the plugin. I will go to the add new, upload plugin, choose file, select it, install. And we have the error because the server I am running is on the 7.3.5 and we need to have at least 7.4 and apply it, change. Let's try it again. Install, activate the plugin. And I want to point that after you install the sandbox, it's going to automatically install one more plugin. And that is the framework that the Joshua is using. So he reduced the plugin sizes as he is going to introduce soon more of the plugins and he's going to reuse his framework. So he don't want to copy that framework into every plugin that he makes. After the plugin is installed, you can see that the sandbox is activated right away. And let's go and make some changes. I'm going to make just some simple changes to showcase what the sandbox is doing. This is not the prettiest design, but you will get the point based on this one. So I'm saving the changes, closing this one, and I'm going to open this one in the incognito mode. And here is what the rest of the users will see if they don't have the sandbox link. So this will still be unchanged on the live website, but then you can copy the sandbox link, give it to your client. He can see it in the isolated environment, how it looks like. He can then approve it or tell you to do another one. Then let's close it. But in case he approves it, we can just publish it. And now let's see what the users will see as well. And this is it. 
uh, I just want to point that after the sandbox is published the plugin will be deactivated right away so if you want to go into the another sandbox edit you can just activate it and start the process again and thank you for watching